Tofu by lighting my cat on fire. I woke up this morning at 7 a.m. and decided today was a perfect day to clean. I was doing my daily cleaning tasks and decided, you know what? I'm gonna light a candle, I want my house to smell like the fucking Baltic Sea. Fuck yeah. I'm cleaning, my husband is in the living room close by studying for an exam with his headphones on. What a nice, relaxing Sunday morning. After I was done cleaning, I decided to get started on making some pizza dough for tonight's dinner. My parents had sent my husband and I some King Arthur pizza dough flour over the holidays and we were going to use the last of it today to make some bomb ass pizza, hell yeah. So I'm in the kitchen, filled with the aroma of Baltic Sea and mint rosemary candles, and my fuzzy cat, Kevin jumps up on the counter to greet me. I try to shoo him away, but alas, my hands are covered in sticky pizza dough. Sticky situation here. I call to my husband to get Kevin down, but he can't hear me because his noise-canceling headphones are too damn good. Alright I'll just do this myself then. I tuck my dough safely away and move over to the sink so I can wash my hands and tend to Kevin to get him down. Normally, he's pretty nonchalant when it comes to water, in fact he'll try to stick his head under the faucet to drink some water. But today he was feeling spicy I guess. I turned on the water and he zoomed up to the ledge on the counter, where my candles were lit. Oh fuck. I start to freak out, and start panicking and being more stern with my demands. Get down now, Kevin. He just looks at me like, fuck you bitch. And he plops his fluffy ass right down on my candle and his fluffy ass puffed up in a small flame. I freaked out even more, which, to be honest I don't know how that was possible and my only thought was control the fire. Not trying to recreate that scene in Mr. Deeds. I cupped a decent amount of water in my hand and ran up to my cat and grabbed his fiery ass to drench it in water. He looked at me, unfazed by the fire on his ass and more concerned that I violated his little private area. Fire controlled, but now my cat's ass is covered in dough and water, and I just made a mess everywhere. My husband finally turns around and says what happened? Well sir, your cat just lit his ass on fire. Not his tail, his ass. We both had a good laugh at it and Kevin just looks confused. The house smells like burnt hair now. But hey, crisis averted, and Kevin, and the pizza dough are safe. TL, DR, I lit my cat on fire. We not going to talk about the part where your cat is apparently immune to fire damage? How come before Kevin fucks up, he's your cat while after he fucks up and the mess is made, he's your husband's cat? I don't really need an answer, I've been married a long time. I love that you have a cat named Kevin. The cat should be ring a tifu about this, you just saved the day. I'm glad Kevin and the pizza dough made it out safe. I love happy endings. Tears of joy. So how's the pizza? Your cat will smell like burnt hair for a few weeks. I know this because my cat walked over a tea. Light on the edge of the tub while I was taking a bath. He kind of lit up like when you burn the lint off your socks. I too have a fluffy cat named Kevin. Hope yours, and his fluffy, burnt dough ass, is okay. Baltic Sea by the Reserve Candle Company? Kevin and Kid Me has a lot in common. I didn't light my ass on fire. Just my hands. With hand sanitizer. Was the pizza good? If you enjoyed this video. Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.